Hey everybody, Steven here from Oddball Publishing. I wanted to do a YouTube video just updating everybody on kind of what we're doing with the books and uh, what's going on with the process. So I started writing the third zombie book in our bedtime Zor uh, zombie book series. Um, I started the initial outline, I think in July, we had a rough and this was based off a, an idea that um, my writing partner, Isaac, uh, threw out there about basically the, Caleb, the main character, which is also my, my son in real life, um, he's the main character of the book, going to a different town. And then just basically twisted it, grew it from there. Halfway through that writing process, it actually changed into something else where I wanted to split it into two books. This being very much influenced by Stranger Things some of the stuff that goes on in that um, TV series on Netflix, which is phenomenal. If you haven't watched it, I definitely recommend it. Um, and tweaked it, and then I just finished the rough draft uh, this past Saturday, so a couple days ago. And with that, now that the rough draft is done, we just had our meeting yesterday, so now it's looking at what the, the next step is in all of that, and it's I'm putting him on to, to go through and read it and to really, he's better at grammar than I am. So a lot of that, I know it's going to need to be uh, changed. It just needs to be updated and fixed as he's doing that. Also though, looking at like, where is there something that just doesn't make sense? It doesn't fit. Is it incoherent? Um, is it an area where we can sprinkle in some humor? One of the big things with this book is trying to incorporate a lot of humor. I'm a huge fan of the show community. Um, so some of the offbeat humor that they do in that, I try to put in it. I do have a lot of it at the first, but because I've written this in blocks, because I had to take a break so we could finish Intertwined. Um, because of that, there's a little bit of a different feel as you kind of progress through the book. So as he's doing that, I'm also going to be going back through. I have to update the ending. It just went a little dark, a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. Um, so I want to go in there and clean that up, add a little bit of humor and update it. And then I'm going to start going through as well and just looking at where Coney adds humor. It does it not make sense. Um, am I rambling? I have a tendency to do that as well uh, when I'm writing. So clean that up. We have three months to do this. This next month is Zach, our artist, hammering down on um, trying to do the character design. So we have to do that as well. I want to nail down the look and the style of the art. So we have to do that. And then um, at the same time, we actually have him working on another project, which we're doing right now. So uh, to just kind of close all that out, working on this month, really finishing out the uh, rough draft and updating where we need to, but getting it to a point that he can start working on images towards the end of the month. A couple weeks working on character design, finalizing the style, and then that next two, three months um, finishing out the pages. This won't have as much art as the other one, which had a ton of art in it. This one, we're going to go more like we did with Intertwined, where there's about 10 to 15 main images, and then about five to 10 smaller images, versus like almost an image every page. So um, this thing is 42 pages in a Google Doc compared to the other ones, which I think was actually 20 pages. To just give you an idea, this is going to be a much longer book. Our previous one, Undyed Nightmare, was 56 pages at the end of it. And this one will probably be close to double that. So about 100 pages, 110. So wanting to, and that was one of the reasons for the split too. It just ended up being way too long. But looking at... Um, the reader growing with the story as it gets far more in depth and longer in length as well. Um, so that's where we're at right now with that. The other one is a book that Isaac, he just wrote through Rough Draft. We had a, that meeting as well talking about that where he, we could go with it. And um, I love the idea. He came up with it, which was uh, a sock gets kind of like sucked into a black hole in the dryer. Where does it go, right? Because you lose... Um, clothing items like that and then it's basically what's the adventure that it goes on instead of just being lost right this thing goes on an adventure and then maybe you find it later right so that's what we have him doing right now based off his initial one um, that uh, we kind of looked at yesterday and I had read it a couple days ago um, 
it's just the harder part is finding balance it is for a much younger reader but also we need to have enough substance where it's not because right now i think the sock goes to three different spots we need more than that and i told him based off how many words we have right now you could double it and it would still be okay so that's what we're looking at and I've been referencing like Dr. Seuss books, how long are some of those? How do you hit the beats? The big thing with this that he added though was a rhyming scheme, which um, with that rhyming scheme, I know that's much harder just, just to write um, and how to hit those beats. So that's gonna be a, a more difficult task in, in trying to grow the story a little bit as well. So that's where we're at with everything. The hope with this is in three months we'll have the sock book out five to six months from now um so i'm shooting for ideally april but i know realistically once we get it the art done the formatting all that other stuff we're looking at like june june for this other book and then towards the half uh, end of this year we want to release another book as well which will either be the second part of this book or we have, um, Zach wants to do a book, our artist, so we're looking at that. He really just needs to come up with the pillars for it, the backbone, and tell tell us and present to us what the story he wants to tell, and then we'll help him write that. Um, we have that one that we want to do, the second book in this, the second book in Intertwined, and then there's another one that I've just been calling Book Ventures, um, about these kids that can go in and out of, of stories, in and out of books. I have that book, and that's been on the back burner for a long time, so I really need to, within this next year, work on that so the hope for this year the big plan is three books last year we did a remake and, an, and another one um the year before that we did one so we want one two last year even though one was remake this year really hoping for three we're, we're pushing really hard and we need to get three done um and that's kind of where we're shooting for just because this year we're also wanting to go to a lot of the different conventions that come to where we're at in tulsa oklahoma Isaac lives in Denver, um, or in Colorado, close to Denver. So uh, going out there as well, if there's an opportunity to do a um, convention out there as well. So that is currently where we are at with everything. Um, anybody that's watched the videos, thank you so much. Uh, Oddball Publishing on Facebook or on Instagram is where you can find a lot of the different art and, and news with this stuff and trying to ramp up the channel a little bit if we can. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to continue to follow along with our journey and our content, hit the uh, subscribe button for us. Thanks so much for watching.